All right, guys, we are live. Happy resurrection morning to you all. We should find a cute little thingy. But I don't see any, do you? Something that says puppy eggs. Right? Yeah, I know it. There's eggs. Uh, fertility. Fertility. Mm, that's it. I don't see anything, though. All right, guys, come join us. We're kind of messing around with our photo filters while everybody comes live. So. I was looking for one that maybe said Happy Easter or something. Happy like Easter! Happy Easter! We are not flying tonight. Nope. You'd think there'd be plenty of things to choose from, but I don't see an area one. Nope. Oh, well. Alrighty, guys. Good morning to you. Happy Resurrection morning. Hello. Aren't you glad that he's still alive and well? Jesus is alive and well. Jesus is alive and well. Tell everybody a pill for me. All right. Morning, Mike. Thomas, and there's Ray Hall, hi Margie Stevens, Nora, uh, Nora McGlone's on here, and um, Winnie Baker's on here, and there's Sheila Richardson, and the list goes on and on, uh, Diana, and Jerry Ann, and there's Stacy, and Dottie, and Kathy, and Lucas, and my goodness, Juanita, and Donna, um, and Dopey, and do. Sneezy, and all of them, so... Okay, guys, hit that share button for us if you don't care, and, and let's share this broadcast. We've got um, a handful of songs that we want to share with you and some scripture reading. Um, is this picture too dark to you guys on your end? We turned the light out so it could look a little better to us because it seems too bright, but um, let us know if this picture is um, too dark or dim. So, morning, Kevin Hughes. So, there's Lori and Ray. Um, Joyce and Everett Duff. Yeah, hi, Joyce and Everett. And we were just talking about um, you guys, because I was trying to find that cross that Everett had um, made for me. It's laying around here somewhere, but... I think it's in the... Um, other one? Yeah, mm. I think I have it laying right here. Oh, so yeah, happy Easter, guys. And, and um, let's just get right into some singing today. And again, share this... Um, broadcast with everybody just hit the share button once um also you know this doesn't change if you have a prayer request you have a need um i want us to pray for you you know if you are lost and don't know christ as your savior my goodness you know nothing would please us more than to pray with you guys and um so just share that on there and we'll go from there okay so let's get started i'm trying to think of a song um let's just start with this one how about gone what is that noise? <laughs> Amen. How many knows that he's gone? He's no longer in that tomb. No. 
praise the Lord. there's a song floating around saying that the tomb isn't empty it's full of my sin you know what i you know i don't know really where they got their um idea to sing that the right that is not a terrible song but you know i can't help but to think that it's, it's just washed away it's, it's it's defeated um it's well I, I get the point because it's a grave but aren't you glad that god has uh, jesus through jesus christ has conquered death conquered sin, conquered addiction, conquered anything that comes against us. Jesus Christ, through his death, burial, and don't forget this, resurrection, we have victory in Jesus Christ. If he would have died and they would have put him in the tomb and he stayed there, then he'd have been just like anybody else. But aren't you glad that he had the power to lay down his life and he had the power to raise it back up? Um, he has all power. And no man can come against that power. No forces of evil can come against the power of Jesus Christ. And um, he tells us that we can have power in him. We can have victory in him. We can have life in Jesus Christ. All because that third and glorious day he rose again. <clears throat> Welcome everybody. If you're just joining us, um, good to see you on here. We're just celebrating Resurrection Morning with you all. Morning, Thelma Martin. Happy Easter to you and Gary. Hi there, Helen um, Lambert. There's Cheryl and Betty Shorty. Jeremiah Webb is on here. Mike House is on here. Gary Wallace is on here. Hi, Terry. Or Tara, I'm sorry. And Cheryl and there's Chris Austin, childhood buddy of mine. There's um, Stephanie, Ray. howdy, howdy, there's Bobby, so there's Sister Ruth, music, Renee Duncan, yeah, Renee's Renee. on there, there's Guy Lowry, so good morning, happy Easter to you all, let's just continue to worship the Lord and get into some more singing, um, I wanted to sing this Friday, and I kind of overlooked the song, um, but, I can't, will you clean my glasses, I've got something on there, and I can't even, but I want to try to sing this song, it says, I will rise again. Go ahead and laugh at me, Jesus said. Go ahead and mock me. Go ahead and say that I'm not who I am. But you're going to come and find out one day that I will rise again. And, you know, I can't help but to use that same line of thinking, you know, when people comes against us and laughs at us because we're believing in God and laughs because we're serving Jesus Christ and we're devoting our life to him. You know, people will laugh and they'll mock us and they'll tell us we're waste, wasting time and wasting life following after Jesus. But you know what? One day they're going to see that they were wrong. And, you know, and this is pretty much what this song is saying. <coughs> it says, I will rise again. <clears throat> it's been a minute since I've seen this song too.
Hey, Dad. It's too dark, at least for me anyway. So we're going to turn the light on just so I can see a little bit better. <clears throat> All righty. I'm so glad that um, he said what he, he done, what he said he would do. And he laid down his life. But he said, I will rise again. And guess what, children? He rose again. And now he's saying that he's going to come back one day. And guess what? He's coming back. There's no doubt about it. He's coming back to get us um, <coughs> just any day. I'm, I'm looking forward to his coming, folks. I don't dread it. I'm not afraid. I'm not sitting there biting my fingernails and, 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 and panicking. But I love his appearing. I love the, the fact that if we're saved and ready to go and he comes back, that we can go with him. And, and folks, I'm thankful for that. Um, all righty. Let's do... Um, Hi, everybody. Happy Easter, too. Everybody. Yes, if you're just joining us, welcome. This song here says, Hallelujah, He's Risen. <clears throat> One Friday morning in Jerusalem, the weight of my sins were all cast upon Taking my shame and proving he loved me. Praise his holy name. Then one Sunday morning, at the breaking of day, see Mary and Martha found the stone rolled away. Death held the victory over God's Son. Hallelujah, He's risen. The victory's been won. Hallelujah, He's risen. Mary had seen Him. He's alive.
to thankful okay guys listen we don't have very many songs um to sing and um actually we did that one and that one and that one, that one so we got two more songs left um so or maybe three right yeah three more songs left my eye is foggy your eye is foggy <laughs> Everybody, Dusty's eye is foggy. It's foggy. I'm not sure why it's foggy. She might be developing a cataract. <laughs> Give me a cataract rest. <laughs> I think it was raining. You know what? I'm glad it is raining because it won't seem like Easter if it didn't rain. <laughs> you know, because it always rains on Easter, it seems like. Not always, but most of the time in my head anyway. So... <clears throat> Alrighty, let's go ahead and sing one more song, and then I want to give you our scripture reading for the day, and then we want to have two more songs, and then we're going to wrap it up. We're not going to be here all day, but everybody's wanting to hear this song, and I couldn't wait till Sunday to sing it too. It says, because he loved me, my Savior died.
children why he went to the cross of calvary other than he loves us and aren't you thankful that he loved us aren't you thankful that he was willing to lay down his life take on our shame take on our sin that we may have eternal life if we put our trust in him i say praise the lord i've got a few verses of scripture that i want to share with you and um, after that, we've got two more songs that we're going to sing. <clears throat> but I want to look in, um, well, I've got several verses of Scripture that we um, I, I want to share with you. But our main text is going to be in the book of Luke. And we're going to go into Luke 24. And I just want to share with you the account um, of Easter morning, this resurrection morning. Um, St. Luke chapter 24, verse 1, it says, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, I can't say it, sepulchre, and um, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in. And found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass. I love that. I love every time you read the word, it came to pass. That means it's been documented. It's happened. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, and I love this, Why seek ye the living among the dead? And here's my three verses of scripture that I want to focus on. Verse 6, it says, He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Verse 7, verse seven says, Saying the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his word. Now, if you would jump over into the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 8, it was pretty much written the same way, <clears throat> but it also says this. It teaches us that they said that Jesus has risen just as he said. And that term has been weighing on my mind for a, a period of time. Because it wasn't that Jesus rose from the grave like somebody else said. You know, if, if somebody else was saying this, it, it, it would be kind of hard to believe. You remember when, you know, well, we know the story about Thomas and, and even um, when Mary uh, Magdalene had ran to um, where Peter was, and he was crying and heartbreaking and trying to pray. And they said, listen, Peter, we talked to him. I mean, he's gone. You know, he's out of the tomb. And, you know, he didn't believe him. He said, you're, you're carrying tales, is pretty much what he was saying to them. But Jesus Christ said he was coming back. Jesus Christ said that he will live again. And folks, listen, I'm thankful that when he speaks, you can take it to the bank. And I shared uh, some scripture. Or I want to share some scripture with you. <clears throat> I'm not going to read it all, but I'm just going to kind of give you just a brief summary. Look in Mark chapter 8, verse 31. Jesus, just after he fed the 4,000 with the seven loaves. Now, there's two different accounts, and I don't want you to misunderstand because I'll get messages saying, oh, he fed 5,000. Yeah, he did, but this is a different account. Mark chapter 8, verse 31, Jesus feeds the 4,000 with seven loaves. And after um, they had gone into Caesarea Philippi, Jesus was teaching the disciples about his coming death. And Jesus said, after three days, I'll rise again. And I want to look today, and, and, and if I'm allowed to title this sermon, 
I would just title this, uh, this sermon just as he said. Because you can go in through the word of God and you can read his miracles. You can read his promises. And folks, listen, I'm thankful that God is not slack concerning his promises. You don't ever have to throw promises into God's face. Listen, he don't, he don't make a promise and then try every which way to get out of it. You know, he's not like us. Many, excuse me, many of times, you know, we'll make a promise and then to do something for somebody. But if the weather isn't right or if we're tired or, or whatever, you know, if everything is, if something else comes up, then we kind of try to um, tend to get out of our promises. We try to get out of what we said that we would do. Jesus Christ never did that. And we find that he, his word is true. But Jesus had always kept his word. And at least three different times, and it could have been more and I've just overlooked, but as I studied, at least three different times, he told his disciples that he would die. But he said in three days, he would rise. If you go into Mark chapter 8, verse 31, Mark chapter 9, verse 9, at the Mount of Transfiguration, and go into Mark chapter 10, verses 32, 3, and 34, you'll find these promises. And then if you jump over into Matthew chapter 28, verses 5 and 6, we find that Jesus' promises has been fulfilled. Just as he said. He also said that when he would leave, that he would not leave us comfortless. He said that in that in John chapter 14, verses 16 through 18, that he would go, but he would send the Holy Spirit to comfort us. And he has done just that very thing. Let me give you a few more examples of the promises that Jesus has made and kept. If you go into St. John chapter 6, verse 37, it says that him that will come, I will in no wise cast out. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Go into 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. I love this one. It says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. How about this one? We need to hear this today as well in what we're going through in this life. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, it says, I will never leave you or forsake you. And folks, today, the only reason why I'm giving you all of this is for one other thought that I want to share, and then that's it. I'm, I don't have a long sermon for you today. But listen to this. Everything that Jesus said that he would do is happened. It came to pass. And I want you to understand that he still is working miracles today. He's still doing just what he said that he would do. Alrighty, guys, we're back. I don't know how much you missed of this. But anyway, so what I was giving you was scripture on the promises that Jesus has made. Giving you verses of, of Jesus' um, promise, he says that, you know, him that come to me I will no wise cast out. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, he said, come unto me all ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. In 1 John, guys, are we back on? I'm not sure why we're losing Internet. Are we back on? <clears throat> okay, guys. I think we're back. Looks like the Internet's back on. I see people popping back on here. So, give me a shout out if you're back on and you can see me so we're not just staring at each other. But anyway, so I just wanted to come on here and Dusty's going to come back in and we're going to sing our last two songs here and then we're going to go ahead and sign off. But um, I just wanted to share this with you today. That if you look in Mark chapter 8, verse 31, Jesus said that I would, you know, when I die, I will come back in the third day, I will rise again. And then he gave 
other scriptures where he said that he would die and that he would come again. And then I gave you verses of scripture in case you missed it, where he promised that he would not leave us comfortless in John chapter 14, verses 16 through 18. And now we're looking at other scriptures of promises. John 6, 37, he says that he would, if you come to him, he would no wise cast you out. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Go into 1 John chapter 1, verse 19, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then lastly, it says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, I will never leave you or forsake you. And I said all of that to tell you this. If Jesus is going to keep his promise that he will protect us, that he will provide for us, that he will love us, that he will take care of us, that when he dies, he will rise again. If he says all that and it came to pass, if he said when he ascended to his father right, that he won't leave us comfortless, that he would send the Holy Spirit and he's done that, then why would we think that in John chapter 14, that he wouldn't keep this promise as well. And if you look in John chapter 14, and it says this, it says, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also, and whither I go you know, and the way you know. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And folks, listen, I want you to know that this whole sermon today, just as he said, when they came to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus uh, and the angels was sitting on the stone that was rolled away, the soldiers were standing around, well, that was standing around, was now falling down to the ground as dead men. They fainted, they passed out, if you will. And then they come to the tomb and, and the angel said, why seek ye the living among the dead? Jesus isn't here. He arose just as he said. Folks, listen, Jesus Christ has a record of getting things done. He has a record of keeping his word. Everything that he has said has come to pass. And now he says, I go to prepare a place for you. So why would you not think that he would keep his word? He will. He will. He also tells us that if we reject him, that if we turn him away, that he will reject us when we stand before his father. Folks, understand this morning that Jesus Christ kept his word. He said he loved us. He died on that cruel cross for our sins. He said three days later, I will rise again. And he, just, he did that very thing. As he ascended back to his father, some days later, he said, I'll leave you, I will not leave you comfortless. Throughout his word, we can see I'll never leave you or forsake you. I'll be right there with you. Cast your cares upon me. All of these things that we can read that Christ had kept his promise. There's another promise that he's going to keep. He's coming back one day. He's went to heaven to prepare a place for you, for me. And if we trust in him, then he's coming back to receive us. Folks, we just need to be ready. We must say yes to the Lord. We must have our sins forgiven, be under the blood of Jesus Christ. And folks, if you don't know how to do that, let me give you the most simplest form. From your heart, call out to God. I'm a sinner. I believe in your son, Jesus Christ. I believe that he died on the cross for me. Forgive me of my sins. Believe that in your heart. Confess that with your mouth. And the Bible says you shall be saved. Folks, salvation is that simple. What makes it difficult is when we get ourselves in the way. Then it becomes difficult. But I want to sing this song here. And then we got one more after this, I think. You can come join me.
She always gets out of the picture when I'm preaching. I don't know why she runs from the preaching. It'll reach you all the way over there. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> this song here, think about Peter and how sad he was. He was dragged up to a rock pile on the outskirts of town. They nailed him to a torture rack as mockers gathered round. The blackened sky spoke thunder when he finally bowed his head. He'd who given life back on their dead. Oh, his mother and some friends came to carry him. Trying to speak through heartaches that only words can say. The sunset cast no shadows on the world's darkest day. And with one last look, they left him in his grave. But I talked to him today, and the cares of them away. He said that all my trials can be turned into triumph through the victory that he's already won. Yes, I talked to him today and the comfort that he gave filled me with desire to tell the world that on Calvary he died but right now he is alive, oh, I know, because I talked to him today. Mary Magdalene came breathless to the room where Peter lay. He was searching through his broken heart to find the faith to pray. As he heard her joyful story, his sorrow could not stay. As with hope sprang at the words he heard her say, she said, I talked to him today, and my cares all fell away. He made me feel like life has just begun. He said that all my trials can be turned into triumph through the victory that he's already won. Yes, I talked to him today, and the comfort that he gave filled me with desire to tell the world that on Calvary he died, but right now he is alive, oh, I know, because I talked to him today. Remember, if you joined me last night, and I kind of played a little few songs on the piano last night, we was talking, and, and we was talking about as the disciples and Mary and all walked away from the cross, they left that day with hopelessness. They just, they, they watched Jesus crucified and died, and they lost all hope. But Sunday morning, when they went back to that tomb to anoint the body, of Jesus and he wasn't there the angel of the Lord said he arose he's risen just like he said hope flooded their hearts once again folks I want you to know that we have hope in Jesus Christ Paul said if I have hope in Christ only in this life I would be of all men most miserable but he was saying that my hope goes beyond this life my hope in Jesus goes on even when this body is buried and the last breath out of my lungs is gone, I have hope to see Jesus Christ. I have hope of eternal life through him. And this is what this whole Resurrection Sunday is all about. New hope in Jesus Christ. Dustin come yesterday, My those who don't know who Dustin is, he's our six-year-old. And he come crawling on my lap and we watched a video and we talked about Christ and his crucifixion and 
how Mary felt and how the disciples felt and how sad and how sorrowful it was. And Dustin said, oh, I know. We sell, we have Easter because Jesus dies every Easter. And, and I said, no, no, no. Jesus doesn't die every Easter. He died one time. And listen, that one sacrifice is enough to save humanity forever. And I said, we just remember what Jesus did on what we call Easter. Just like we remember the birth of Christ on Christmas. And folks, listen, I hope today that you, you know, still get to have your Easter dinner. And I hope you still get to have fun with your kids and somewhat visit with family. But I hope you don't forget <clears throat> the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made on Calvary. I hope you don't forget the love that he has. For mankind take it personal the love he had for you the love he had for me um, by dying on the cross and raising from that tomb i want to share one more song with you and this song just simply says remember me folks listen regardless of everything that's going on in life right now don't forget jesus christ don't forget his sacrifice don't forget his love that he has don't forget salvation through him but we're going to try to do this song <clears throat> I love this story this criminal that was on the cross beside Jesus called out to Jesus and Jesus said today thou shalt be with me in paradise aren't you glad that Jesus saved even in his death he was still saved he was just a common criminal just a lowly thing Hanging there by Jesus On a cross at Calvary When it seemed his life was over With one last desperate plea He looked into the eyes Of a man from Galilee He said, Lord, remember Just a sinner, just a lonely common thing. When you come into your kingdom and you take your place as king, oh, remember me. verse 2. Can you imagine the look on Satan's face when Jesus was standing there with the keys of death, hell, and the grave? <laughs> Satan lost the battle that day. <laughs> Later on that very day, they laid Jesus in the grave. You all know the story. There he did not stand. I'd love to see the look on Satan's face that day Oh, when Jesus crashed the gates of hell And he heard our Savior say Hey, remember me <laughs> I bet you thought you'd never see my face again I've conquered again I have defeated all your sins how could you not remember me? Because I'll be back. Remember me. Now this is for us, children. Listen to this. Thank you, Lord. He remembered that thief on the cross. He reminds Satan just who he is. And church... He's reminding us who He is. Hey, remember me. I'm the one who died for you on Calvary. I'm the one who gave my life so that you can go free. How could you not remember me? How 
folks, let us remember Jesus Christ. <clears throat> let us not get so torn up with things in this world and that we forget what he is and who he is and what he did on Calvary for you and I. Don't forget that our Savior one day is coming back. Folks, we're not in this world for eternity. You know, we, we're all going somewhere. We're going to leave this. The Bible teaches us that is appointed for man once to die, and after that, the judgment. That's scripture. There's, a two, there's two appointments that we all must keep. Death and judgment. And folks, I'm thankful this morning that we can have Jesus Christ in our life. We can make him our Savior. And when we leave this body, whether it's natural causes or whether he comes and splits the eastern sky and with a shout calls us out of here, we're leaving this old shell behind. And folks, we're going to meet the Lord. If you reject Jesus Christ, what a sad day that will be for you. As we sing this song, remember me. You know, let me share this and I promise you we're going to pray and we're going to hop off here. But let me just share this one thought with you. People, you know, even scripture alludes to Satan, you know, rejoicing at the death of Jesus Christ. And I'm made to believe that had Satan known that the, the death on the cross was with purpose. See, the religious leaders of the day and and all they was crying blaspheme and 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 he was you know Jesus was a blasphemer and all these different things and and they you know got together to um, have him crucified and we know Satan was behind all of that and you you just had to know that there was a celebration in the pits of hell with the <clears throat> demons and Satan at the death of Jesus Christ. And I've often thought of this, but if, if Satan would have known that Jesus came to die, that that was his purpose. See, they didn't kill Jesus. You can't kill somebody when you're willing to give your life up. You know, people will still argue the fact where they still killed you, but Jesus didn't put up a fight. Jesus laid his life down willfully. All the things that the Jewish people that we read in the scripture that they said they've done to Jesus and the Roman soldiers and what they've done to Jesus. Listen, they did that only because Jesus allowed that to happen. Everything that they've done to him, he allowed it to happen. Nothing was forced upon Jesus. In their minds, they think it was forced. In their minds. But Jesus knew everything that he had to go through, and he was willing to do it. He allowed it to happen. I've said all this because I want to drive this point home. Had Satan known that the death of Jesus Christ was going to redeem mankind, I think he would have done every single thing in his power to try to prevent the crucifixion. Now, that's just me thinking. Maybe he thought, well, we'll kill him, but we don't believe that he has the power to raise again. I don't know what their thoughts were. I'm just think, kind of thinking out loud. But I, I kind of think that if Satan known that Jesus Christ's death, his resurrection, would redeem mankind, I think he would have tried to stop all of it from happening. But he didn't. He was laughing. He was carrying on thinking, we finally got the Son of God. We finally killed him. But on that third and glorious day, he arose. Folks, I want you to understand. He did that for you. He did that for me. So wherever you're at in your life, whatever turmoil, whatever trouble, whatever sin that you're in, whatever situation that you feel like there's no hope that there's no help listen jesus christ died on the cross to redeem you from your sins he died on the cross to save me from my sins to give me a new life to make me a new man inside and he's no respecter person if you just join this i just preached a short sermon titled as he said he went to the tomb 
anoint Jesus, the angel said, he's gone. He rose, just like he said. All of his promises he's made, he kept good on his promises, just as he said. He said he's coming back one day, folks, and I believe he's coming back, just as he said. But at this moment, he said that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and he's just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. Just as he said, if you confess your sins, call out on him. He'll save you. Why not make this resurrection morning a new day in your life? A new start. By accepting him as your savior, if you haven't already. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this day you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for resurrection morning. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of Jesus Christ and his salvation that he brought for us. Lord, without his gift, without his sacrifice, we would eternally be lost. But Lord, because of his grace, because he loved us and shed his blood on Calvary, we can be eternally grateful that we have salvation through your son. Father, we ask that you'll be with each and every one today. Keep them safe. Bless them, Lord. Bless them with their families, Lord. And, and, and give them, even though it's an awkward time where we're all, you know, in our homes and, and not going out in public. But Lord, your spirit can dwell with us and you can still help us to celebrate this wonderful day and remember your gift and remember your love for mankind. Father, we pray today for the sickness, for any needs that may be out there today. But most importantly, Lord, we're praying for salvation. We're praying for those who's lost and undone and lost that never accepted you as their savior. Lord, we're praying for those that's backslidden from you. Lord, that they have realized that you're married to the backslider, that you love them and that you want them to come home. Uh, Lord, we're praying for those that are saved. Lord, that we can grow stronger and closer into you and your grace and help us to be the light and the salt of the world. Lord, we pray that you'll just help us to be what we're supposed to be, to lead others to Jesus Christ. Father, that's not in our power. We can't save a single soul. But we can lift up Jesus Christ, as the word says, lift up Jesus, lift up him, and all men shall be drawn unto him. And Father, help us to do that very thing today. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your blessings and, and your mercy and your goodness. And God, we pray that you'll um, continue to just lead and guide us until the day you call us home. We ask in the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. Listen, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Happy Resurrection Day to you. It's Happy Easter to happy you Easter. all. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, not sure next time we'll be on, but we'll see you the next time we see you. Love you guys. God bless you.